Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Think about a Thursday. What have I been thinking about? For some odd reason, I have been thinking about Sky Handguns and how they hit the market and fill the void with budget-priced handguns. They came out in 2003, 2005 was the first release of the CPX-1 and Back then, there weren't many budget handguns. High Point was the main one, 100 bucks, sometimes less, for a big bulky handgun with low capacity. And then there was Taurus that many people viewed as unsafe and unreliable with horrible customer service. Yes, they were budget priced, but people said it's not worth it. There were some problems with discharges that should not have happened, and people shied away from it. But when Sky came out, there just wasn't a big market. There was a big market, but there were not a lot of offerings in budget handguns. So they came out with a polymer frame, 10 round capacity, nine millimeter handgun, subcompact. And people seemed to gravitate toward that because they were right around 200 bucks. And their timing was, was great. Then eventually they came out with a bunch of different colors and they offered great customer service. They actually agreed to replace a handgun that was either lost or stolen at a specific time. They had since ended that program because there were some issues with criminals taking advantage of that. At least so I'm told. I, I have to believe that's true. But they were originally called Sky SCYY. Then the vodka company said, hey, we've got a trademark with that. Then they moved it to SCCY. Sky hits that budget price, but isn't really a great handgun. It works okay. The problem I have, and this is a CPX3 in 380, is with the magazines. They ship with a couple magazines. They are one size fits all, but they don't necessarily operate the same way. I have found in the CPX3 that some of the magazines I have work great, others do not. When I did a reliability test on this, every issue I had was a magazine-related issue. I think if Sky would work with a company like Metgar to make mags, they would have much better success, even if they raised the price a little bit. The long double-action trigger pull is, is really heavy, hard to stay on target. Now, when Sky came out with the CPX-1, they eventually came out with the CPX-2 without the thumb safety, CPX-3, and then the DVG-1. They made them optic ready by choice, and the price went up a little bit, but they still remain under $300, and, and people have the idea that, you know, you can get everything you want from a P365 or a Hellcat, at half the price, and I just don't think that is the case. That long double action trigger pull can get hard to stay on target, and the function with the magazines is an issue with me. If I had to say the the ranking of Sky on a scale of one to 10, all things considered, I'd give it probably a five, maybe less, because of the issues I mentioned. It's an okay handgun. You know, people like all the colors they offer. People like the price. People like some of the options. But it just doesn't hit me as a premier handgun. Was it built to be a premier handgun? No, probably not. This is for somebody that wants a, a gun buried in the truck. Somebody who wants it in a tackle box. Somebody who wants it in, in a spare bedroom hidden away because it's cheap. But would I trust my life with a Sky handgun? I honestly would not. I, I've had some issues with the the Skies, the magazine that has a little funky takedown. That's fine. I can live with that. But I, I don't think it's a premier handgun. Does it fit a niche of people out there who are looking for budget handguns? Yes. And for that sake, I am, I am happy. I'm sure Sky... It's much like High Point that they brought a bunch of people in to shooting and self-defense and, and an awareness without costing a lot of money. And that that's certainly a good thing. But for those who have a few extra bucks, it's my opinion that you could do better 
And, and if you look at Taurus, they've put out some great handguns right around the same price here. Maybe a little more, but they're actually offering more as well as the reputation has improved over the years. And a lot of people have come around to Taurus. Has a lot of people, have a lot of people come around to Sky? I don't know. And that's why I'm making this video on Think About It Thursday. Because are you a fan of Sky handguns? Do you think they are awesome? Do you think they are extremely reliable? Or do you think they're a piece of junk? I don't think they're great, but I don't think they're horrible either. I'm, I'm happy that they have budget-priced handguns. But accuracy can be challenging. The magazines can be challenging. And, you know, good customer service is always, always a nice touch. But in my, in my case, I just don't shoot them that great. But I'm wondering what you think. Are you a fan of Sky? Do you think they make a great handgun for a good price? Or have you moved away from them and gotten into something a little bit more expensive, but you shoot it better and you're happier with it? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.